so hey guys today I'll be showing you how to migrate from your website from your existing host to um, cyber panel so in this tutorial I'll be my migrating my site from Nexus to um, self-hosted cyber panel in Contable Cloud BBS running Ubuntu 20.04 LTS so um, we will be using a free plugin it is called all in one WP migration it can migrate um, themes plugins and folders so this will be a great tool to migrate your website so let's get started so first you need to log into your website you want to migrate um, to cyber panel so this uh, the domain I'll, um, I'll be showing showing you is the this domain this is currently hosted um, on Namecheap so this uh, this is what the website looks like so let's migrate this um, site to cyber panel self-hosted cyber panel in contable, in contable VPS so first we need to add a new plugin just search all-in-one migration so here, here it is so just click install and activate in the left uh, menu just um, click all in one W migration so we need to export this we need to export this site so just click export file let's just wait so it's done just um, click this one to download now it's done loading so we will um, import this to a WordPress website in Cyber Panel. Next, we'll log into our Cyber Panel. We need to add a website. So just click Websites, create a website. so just click default on admin so this is a paid uh, service so just we'll just disable this so the, the domain name is the w text Let's see. so just email admin so next test will be uh, missing 8.0 PHP just click SSL DK, DK and support and open this directory protection so just create website so now finally the um, website is installed next we will access the website we, we've just created so just click list websites so set 
here we'll choose manage so just scroll down and we'll install a wordpress plus ls cache just click escape Let's use the domain. So we'll just um, leave this empty and click install. So finally it's done. So let's go back. Just click manage. So let's preview. So we finally installed WordPress. So next we will create a staging environment uh, to this domain. We will create a subdomain uh, in order to avoid long down downtime for um, of your website, especially if you have big website. So you need you need a staging environment. So we'll just create here under websites create new domain choose the domain so let's test or test xwp test let's see if this is black so i'll choose 8.0 php check the three and click create domain So it's done. Next up, we will create, uh, or rather, we will install a WordPress uh, on this subdomain. Just go to list domains, click manage. So scroll down and just click this. So let's say staging. Staging. Let's use the domain. So just click install. So let's check if you have uh, properly installed uh, WordPress. Just go to website, list domains. So uh, let's go to manage. So let's preview. So we have uh, final, uh, successfully installed WordPress. So next, we'll make this um, 
subdomain type we will use um, again this um, server IP to uh, create an A record so let's head on to our domain register I'm using actually uh, Namecheap so in your um, domain go to your uh, website uh, rather domain so just use uh, basic uh, DNS and then go to advanced DNS so I've already created um, an A record so we can access the subdomain to, uh, to create a staging environment so if you don't know how to add an A record just click here add new A record so if you are using WW or non WW just add here so that is WW test and we'll use this IP we'll use this IP and put it here and just um, good save changes so we'll go back to our cyber panel so let's access the, this so now it is live so now this is live we'll just need to log in using our credentials created a while ago now we are on our dashboard so first let's go uh, to plugins and let's add uh, all in one migration so let's install now let's activate Next, we'll go to import, just click here, and we are limited to 2 MB, so we need to increase this upload size, because our upload size is actually 157 MB, so we will go to our um, cyber panel, and we'll find the PHP INI, so just go to php edit php configs click advance and click php 8.0 so we'll find upload size we'll make this um, 200 mb and we'll find post max file max size uh, that will be 250 MB so just click save and let's restart PHP so let's go back let's refresh so now we are we can actually upload 200 MB so let's upload so let's wait so it's done so let's just, let's just wait so click proceed So let's wait again don't close the, your window or it will fail so just click finish once the importation is done so let's go to our website uh, the staging, staging site so now we are finally here 
So let's check the original website. So here, let's refresh. So as you can see, this is the original, original um, website hosted on Nexus, and this one is um, hosted on Cyber Panel on Contabo BPS. So next, we will push this subdomain to uh, the root domain. So not here, but our cyber panel. So first, um, let's uh, let let's preview the root domain. So this is the face of the root domain. So let's go to our subdomain. So this domain. So go to file manager. Click the folder so it will select this all so we can actually select what control A but manually click all, all of these files. Then, oops. So click copy and we'll move this on. We'll uh, paste this on the root domain. HTML. So just copy. Okay, we'll wait. So it's it's done. So let's go back. File manager. Let's preview the domain. So now it's done. Let's try to access it. So we are now here on our um, newly imported. WordPress website, so we're just <clears throat> using um, the subdomain. So we'll need to push this subdomain to the root domain. So let's go to um, settings in general. So use this root domain, we'll use HTTPS. So let's go back to our cyber panel. Let's go to the websites. So click manage and click preview. So now it redirects to the original uh, domain. So this domain is still hosted on Nexus. So we'll need to change the IP address on, um, on our domain register. So just go to advanced DNS. So here we are still using a record from the Nexus IP. So we will um, change this to our um, um, server IP address from um, this is our um, server panel IP address. So it's actually not, not um, IP address from cyber panel. It is from server server of Contabo. So we will use this to you uh, to point our newly ported website from Nexus. So we'll change this. Just copy this one and change this. Just click save. So 
So we will need this um, tool to check if our DNS is pro um, starting to propagate. So since we are using a records, so it's still propagating. So let's just wait. So now let's check again. So it's um, pro propagating mostly. Um, let's refresh. So we need to. So we'll check if our SSL is install installed properly on our website. Uh, we're gonna use this SSL checker uh, tool. So just put our domain name. Click submit. Okay. So we have an overall rating fee, so it's good. So we have properly installed SSL on our website. So next we will check if our um, server uh, or other website is properly pointed to our uh, cyber panel. So we need to use this tool. Just input our domain. Oops, let's find again. So here, right now, we are using contact. So our cyber, cyber panel is on recon type of PPS, IP address. So now we have successfully migrated our WordPress site from Nexus to cyber panel. So if you have questions, I'll try my best to answer them. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.